Should you start all of your stored procedures with begin and end them with end? Okay, you should. This is actually something that's been bothering me for a while because I know there are a couple of first responder kit stored procedures where we didn't do that. <coughs> Excuse me. But uh, you should, and I'm going to tell you why. So I had a client, for example, once where they did a deployment of a stored procedure and it didn't have begin and end. And at the bottom of the script they deployed, there was a permissions change, grant permissions to so-and-so to exit this, or, uh, execute this stored procedure. Well, that grant became part of the stored procedure. So every time the stored procedure ran, that grant ran too, which ended up causing them problems because they were running the stored procedure thousands of times per second. And we were like, how are we suddenly getting blocking that we've never had before? on system DMVs involving like permission stuff. So that was a nasty little uh, surprise. You would also have similar surprises if you had any kind of deployment tool that concatenated different scripts together to execute them. So you should, yeah, I, I don't necessarily always do, but I should.